Hey guys, did you miss us? We're back, finally. Yes. Big so Tommy. 12 years later. Hey guys. Well, I think Tom's back in body, maybe not in mind, because he's a little bit sleepy and a little bit grumpy because he's got to go and train, do some deadlifts later on, so he's all, eh, let's make this quick because I need to go and deadlift. So I've been travelling the world the last few days. To Tariff in Aberdeenshire, he's gone. And Sheffield. Oof. You know what, quite a bit's been going on over the last three weeks, or four weeks since we last posted. Simon's been skiving somewhere on <laughs> the other side of the world. I think Simon needs to apologise for he going off on right. holiday. You know, we were doing so well, we posted a load of stuff, got some nice videos, and then Simon just baggers off and he's like, well, I've got to go and do me now. I've got to go and find myself in the Philippines. <laughs> Obviously, we did Wembley, we did a wee video about Wembley Giants Live. Um, that was a great comp, first time down Wembley. Competing, started doing these Ard Blair Stones now. Castle Water sponsors them, and also, also Castle Water now have kind of come on board with Tom and I. But these Ard Blair Stones run by Charlie Blair at Oliphant. Charlie's a great lad. Um, stones are they're massive, aren't they? Every show we go to now, or every Highland Games. Yeah, all it, different variations as well. Stone yeah. to shoulder, stone to head, stone everywhere now. Be. Yeah, the historic stones. But yeah, these Ard Blair Stones, they seem to have really kind of caught the, the public's attention and yeah we're gonna you know touch base there's gonna be a couple of videos we'll show you the big man there first time doing it smashes the, the fastest time and let's just say it was in slippery conditions so it should have been a hazardous sign but it wasn't if it was up north and looks perfect conditions it would have been sub 20. but i did have to help tom to get that because it was an aided lift oh aided lift hello boys and then i was just up doing the, the one in john o'groats the most fastest, exceptional lifts, I think, the public have ever seen. Unaided as well, which was nice. I got aided and I got a lad bible, so at the end of the day, 45 million plus views and he gets 10, 10 views, so it is what it is. I met Prince Charles, Tom met some farmers. I met the of. Queen. He hasn't met the Queen. He doesn't even know who the Queen is. What's the Queen's name? Queen Elizabeth. Uh, well, you're lucky. Quite a few competitions still to do the rest of the year. We're going out to Iceland on Thursday, so that's in, what day were Monday? Three so days. Three days, go out to Iceland to compete with Thor, Mateus, um, all the other Icelandic lads for Iceland, uh, Iceland strong so, as well. Be cool. Cool. so hopefully we'll go and see some proper Viking stuff out there. That'd um, be cool to see the Blue Lagoon and begin to see that. And, and go swimming. To chill out with Farby Anson. Hopefully Big Tommy won't drown. For oh. five seconds again. Jeez. That would be embarrassing. Um, and yeah, so we've got that, then we've got... Manchester's the next one, September the 7th. Manchester, Giants Live, and then after Manchester, the day after, we're actually going up to do the Ard Blair Stones in the Stonelifting Championships in Blair Gowrie, so that's going to be a tough one. Um, and then... Scotland's Strongest Man, 21st, 22nd of September. And then Dubai. Then for, Dubai. For World's Oldest Strong Man. Yeah, so, you know, if you fancy coming to any of those competitions, we'll maybe put a wee link in the, in the video for you to, you know, tap and click and do whatever Simon does, ring the bell and... Yeah, so that's that. I mean, you might have noticed we're in a different environment from, from the usual. So this is actually the house where... We were brought up in. The house where the Stoughton brothers were made. We're actually going to go for a wee wander around and we can show you where the... Actually, the first place that Tom and I were training strongman was. So, that's what it's like. so this is the walled garden where this guy and me grew up. So as you can see, there's quite a few flowers, sunflowers there. Obviously, that was Mum's favourite flower, and that kind of represents what's on our tattoo. You know, sunflowers and all the rest of it. So. Yeah, mum and dad are big, big gardeners. So they've, yeah, they've put a lot of work into, I'd like to say we all have, but Tom doesn't do much. In. Yeah, I was a grafter when I was younger. I was, I was a potato patch. He's, what are you, 24 years old when he's younger? Jesus. Um, yeah, so Tom and I, we used to, when we first started doing Strongman, we used to do kind of yoke runs up and down the road here, uh, sandbag carries. Um, you know, there's a few, you could probably see a few dents in the road. Um, that's probably from where we drop 400 plus yokes down and you know dad wouldn't be too happy because obviously 
it costs quite a lot of money to retar roads. So this, this we shed. We used to train in here and again, you can see, I don't know if you get in the camera, Simon, but there's little dents, little puddles just forming there. So what we used to do is come out and deadlift out here. Come rain or shine, you know, we just come out, smash it. Um, whoever, wasn't, whoever wasn't deadlifting, would be hiding in here if it was raining. And then it'd be like a tag, you know, it'd be like a tag team, tag me in and I'm going in. So, I mean, still got, we still got the pull up bar. The re pull up bar there, boy. That was it back in the day. So, this is all done. So, like, this used to be basically where we. The place to be, isn't it? Yeah, the place to be. This is where Tom and I really got our strength. Um, you can see it's nothing, nothing massive at all. I mean, we struggle to fit in here now as it is, but it just goes to show that you don't need much to start off with. You know, it's kind of. People make excuses. Yeah. Stuff. Humble, very humble beginnings, you know, starting in an old shed. The floor crumbled, that's why I had to come outside to do deadlifting. Um, yeah, so it was pretty cool kind of looking back. We started in, in this this shed and then my house is just over the wall there. We kind of moved into the garage and then now we're down the Highland Strength and Conditioning. Strong man or strength and always about progression as long as you're progressing in your strength and then everything else and it's, it's a good thing, isn't it? You know, so that's how we've done and I'm still just progressing, I'm getting a bit older now. Tom's still doing all right. I got that film still in my Apart head. from that Wembley competition, we don't talk about Wembley because he did awful <laughs> there. Jeez. Who cares, Wembley? <laughs> <laughs> Who cares? Still pulled 400 I kg. still pulled 400. <laughs> I'm, if you can't pull 400 and you're at Worlds, then what's wrong with you? Ah, Tom's like Tom just come back from therapy for the last three weeks. That's why he's been away, actually, just to... I was just saving in the Philippines, but yeah. I was getting therapy. <laughs> ah, that's my house, that's our house. The couscous and my house, so it's, it's literally within 20 seconds walk. You know, from Dad, which is quite a nice. Hey, Tom's a great athlete for you. <laughs> I, and swipe up. Swipe up. <laughs> I don't know what for, I just swipe up. <laughs> what have you got there, Luke? So, this is a little bit of wax. So Big Tommy and I have got a bit of hair in our nose. <laughs> so we're going to do a little bit of waxing, Mr Miyagi style, wax on, wax off. Mm -hmm. Do not try this at home. Put the other side, on your left. Oh jeez. <laughs> oh, right. One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, anything above two minutes will cause the wax to become too hard. Right, that's over two minutes. Right guys, right, three, two, one. Oh, jeez, oh, you know, I can't just pull this out. you got to do it quickly. <laughs> no, that's just too sore. you got to do it quickly. <laughs> <laughs> oh. He says he doesn't have any nose here, look at the state of that. Let's just have a wee comparison here. So, Tom said he didn't have any nose hairs. This is Tom's, this is mine. I think Tom had a few nose hairs. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. We're going again. Right. I can breathe on my left nostril. Two, two, and... Ah. Still a fan. You always got to look good when you're going to be competing, guys. So, spray tans, always well worth it. Manicures, pedicures, back sack and crack, and nostrils. Why don't you pull each other's ones? I could she'll do it slow for me. <laughs> I would do it slow. I'll do it, I swear. I don't want to do it. Right, both yeah. because you're going to do mine, so. I'll, I'll pull it quick, just like that, right? I'll go three, two, one. Oh, shit! <laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it. Don't do it slow! Right, one, two, three. <laughs> Look at the state of that! Oh, my days! Mine and Tom's. Wow. Look at that. Jeez, oh, that got tears in my eyes. Wow. <laughs> Look how much hair is that! It's a vehicle. That's more hair in your f***ing chin, man. Oh, that was hurt, that hurt. Jeez. Anyway, that's it, so... That's the nose here pulling. Now we're going to go train. Yeah. He's big told me he's hungry. I don't can't train anymore. Jeez. You right? know what? Take a seat. Imagine the ammonia, that's why Tom can sniff the ammonia really long. Now, now it's going to be like, oh, it's too strong for me. And Anyway. Right, we're gonna go train. <laughs>
So, du, 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 du. Und ja. Oh, das ist gut, das ist gut. Oh. That's mix. Coca-Cola flavor orange. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> good one, Tom. <laughs> anyway, so we're down high on strength and conditioning for a little session. Oh, he's getting, he's getting, he's getting hyped up because he's got a big dead little session. So, Maybe you might have seen, so I'm now working with an Australian strength coach. Um, he's doing my programming for me, which is very much appreciated. Thank you, Sebastian. Such a nice man. Um, so it just gives me something to, to kind of take any pressure away from me to, to program. You know? So with not maybe working as much offshore now, I can justify doing that a bit more, kind of having that kind of program set in stone. And what are you doing? Well, obviously I was with Delroy, McQueen, and uh, I just wanted a change, you know, obviously I could say Delroy's kind of got me to the stage where I am today, but I wanted a bit of change and I'm with Dan Hipkins, who a lot of people don't know, but to me he's probably going to be one of the best strength coaches in the game for, for strong money, he knows a lot about strong money and he knows how to program it into a session, so yeah. Today, my last deadlift session before Ives and Strawberry's man is going to be 360 free threes off a one inch raise, one inch. That's the plan. Mm, interesting. And Luke's uh, just uh, posing in his trunks. I'm some short shorts on, get the quads going. Myself and the youngest bro sitting in the back there. <laughs> get him on the camera. Oh, hey! 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 The future! Spicy stolen. So he's, he's halfway to being spicy. Just got to get a lot of Not yet. <laughs> Not quite Tom's level. <laughs> Harry and I are going to hit some some legs. I've got a little tweak in my shoulder. Um, so I went to see physio Lewis Mitchell from down Sterling. Obviously, we did a video with Lewis before great physio. So just some light shoulder exercises just to get the blood kind of new blood kind of pumping through the shoulders and hopefully that'll kind of, you know, ugh, we don't make excuses, we don't cry about things up here. I could have no shoulders and still be fucking smashing it. Isn't that right, Tom? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, that's it, so we'll get on with it. I hope you like my shorts. Old rugby, rugby shorts. From back when I used to be a hooker. Scrum. Three inch what? Two inch jeans. That I'm a good bit. Oh, oh. We're just going to get a bit of our sessions each, yeah? Yeah. People have been asking about your uh, socks. Why do you always wear odd socks? <laughs> well, most people always have their ritual, you know, that they stick to every every sport they do. You know, some people have lucky, I don't know, boxers, lucky pants, lucky whatever. So, I believe when I wear odd socks, 
I kind of never feel a deadlift, so I always just wear odd socks now when I'm training them. It's just my, in my head, it just, you know, it gives me like, as soon as I put a pair of socks on, I feel something, so <laughs> every uh, competition I've done, except Wembley, I think I had a pair of socks on at Wembley, you know, and look what happened at Wembley, so. Yeah, yeah it's just a ritual I do, you know. Some can be like this, really odd. Others will be like, one Spider-Man, one Superman, but yeah, it's something that I've always done and we'll keep on doing till it stops working, but I'll never stop working, you know. A jobby. <laughs> you missed this three weeks and no jobbies. We're gonna get Tom doing a jobby. You still doing a jobby, Tom? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 are you doing a jobby? I went to my home. <laughs> 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 oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's my brother. Right? How was your job, eh? Good. <laughs> <laughs>
Dankeschön. Schön, dass ihr euch seid. Anyway, that's it. So, that's the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoy it, what do you have to do? Swipe up, fans only. <laughs> Ring the wee bell. Ding, 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 ding. Subscribe. No, I don't swipe up enough. Comment. Peace. Yeah. Uh,